Hey art friends, welcome to today's how-to. Today we'll be learning how to draw Mario. Let's move in towards the center and we're going to start by drawing a nice big oval shape for our nose. Let's come in now and frame in our eyes. So on the right hand side, we're going to arch our line up towards the top, curving this all the way out towards the right. We're going to bring it down and then curve it over and in towards the side. We'll come over to the left hand side and replicate that. So we're going to curve this out towards the left, bringing this down on the side and then arching that over and in towards the bottom. Moving into our eye now, on the top corner, we're going to draw in a small circle for the highlight of the eye. And we'll come over to our left hand side and replicate that again. Moving around that now, we're going to draw in a small curved line that comes all the way over and then down. And then moving over towards the right hand side, we'll replicate that again. Moving further around that one more time, we're going to curve this line all the way around and then in towards the side of the nose. And we'll do the same thing as we come over towards the right, curving that around and then all the way over and in towards the bottom. Let's move in underneath and draw in the mustache. So on the left hand side, we're going to draw a curved line that comes out. And we'll do the same thing over on our right hand side. Now from here on the left hand side, we're going to curve a line that comes around and then in. And we'll do the same thing over on the right. Now from here, we're going to do that three more times. So we're going to arch this line around and then in. And then same thing on the right hand side. And then now where we have our small gap here, we're going to draw one last curved line connecting that from left to right. Moving directly underneath now, we're going to draw in a curved line from the mouth. And then dropping a little bit lower, we're going to draw one more smaller curved line. Now we'll draw in the face. So over on the left hand side, we're going to curve this line down. And then as we get to our mustache, curving this all the way out and then bringing that in towards the bottom. And now coming over towards the right, we'll line that up at the same height. So we're going to bring this in. And then as we get to our mustache, curving that out for the cheek and then bringing that all the way over and in, connecting that on the bottom. Now from here, we're going to frame in the hat on the top. So on the left hand side, moving further out, we're going to curve a line that comes around and then in towards the middle. And now we're going to start back on that line and we're going to continue to extend this all the way out and over towards the right. Moving into the left of this now, we'll frame in the side of the hair. So we're going to curve this out and then in. And then we'll do the same thing on the right hand side, curving this in, out, and then all the way back over and in. Let's frame in the top of the cap now. So we're going to curve this line all the way around, bringing this down and over towards the right. Over on the left hand side now, we're going to curve our line out and then in for our left ear. And now moving over to the right, we're going to arch this out and then back in, ending at the same height for our right ear. We're going to curve a small line that comes out on either side. And then underneath this, we're going to curve a line that comes around and then in towards the side. And we'll do the same thing over on the left. Now we're going to frame in the top portion of the hat. So on the left hand side, we're going to arch this out and then bringing this over and in towards the top of our page, curving that in slightly. And then now from here, as we start back on our top line, we're going to arch this out and then down and then curving this all the way over and in towards our ear. Let's move in underneath and draw in the eyebrows now. So on the inside, we're going to curve this line down towards the bottom. We'll do the same thing over on the right, ending that at the same height. Now from here in the corner, we're going to curve this line around and then down. And we'll do the same thing over on the left. And then now from here, we're going to arch this line over and up towards the top. And we'll do the same thing over on the right. Now above, we're going to draw in the M symbol. So over on the left, we're going to draw a nice big arch line it comes all the way over and down towards the right. And inside of here, we're going to write the letter M. So on a diagonal on either side, we're going to bring a line that comes straight in towards the middle. On the inside of this, we're going to bring in another diagonal line that comes in towards the middle again. And then in the middle, we're just going to connect this with the letter V. Over on the left now, we're going to bring a diagonal line that comes up towards the top. And we'll do the same thing over on the right. Over in the middle now, we're going to write the letter V again. Now we're going to come in underneath and draw in the rest of the body. So we'll start with the overalls. So over on the left hand side, we're going to bring a line that comes down on the inside and we'll do the same thing on the right. And let's close that off with a line that comes straight across now. Over on the left, we're going to curve this line down towards the bottom and we'll do the same thing over on the right. 
On the outer portions now, we're going to bring our line straight out towards the side. And then now from here on the left, we're going to curve this line down towards the bottom and we'll do the same thing over on the right. Moving directly in towards the middle, we're going to draw in a small curved line. Over on the left hand side for the arm, we're going to bring our line down on a diagonal and we'll do the same thing over on the right. Now from here, we're going to bring our line over and in towards the bottom, leaving a small gap and we'll do the same thing over on the right. And then now we're going to bring a small diagonal line that comes in towards the body. Let's come in on the bottom now and draw in the fists. So coming down on a diagonal, we're going to draw in a small curved line on either side. For the thumb, we're going to start in the middle and curve this all the way around and then in. And then we'll do the same thing over on the left. Moving around that now, on the top, we're going to curve this all the way around and then over and in towards the top again. And we'll do the same thing over on the left. We're going to move around and do that two more times. And then for our last one, we're going to curve this all the way around, connecting it over and in towards the top. Moving back into our overalls on the top now, on either side, we're going to draw in a small circle. Now from here, we're going to frame in the legs. So on the inner portion on the left, we're going to curve this line down towards the bottom. And we'll do the same thing on the right, ending this at the same height. Over on the outer portions now, we're going to curve this line in and then out, ending it a little bit shorter. And we'll do the same thing over on the left. Now from here on the outer portions, we're going to curve this line out and then down for the shoe. And we'll do the same thing over on the left. Let's come in on the bottom and draw in a curved line from left to right, closing off the shoe. Now coming up a little bit higher, we're going to continue to curve this line around for the sole of the shoe. Now from here, we're going to curve this line out and then down and then over towards the inner portion of the leg. And we'll do the same thing over on the left. And that is it. That's how you draw Mario. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I'll see you all in the next one.